Now that we've done an overview, let's get set up for success. Let's talk about installation and environments. Now, if you have already installed 51, if you've already had it working on your machine, then great, sit tight. If not, then this section is for you. Uh, so in order to install 51, you need a working Python installation and you need Python 3.7 at the earliest. So anything from Python 3.7 to Python 3.10 is supported. Uh, if you don't know what Python version you have, you can identify that with the dash dash version argument. Uh, so if you are in a shell uh, or in a terminal uh, and you do Python dash dash version or Python 3 dash dash version, depending on your machine, you can get a printout of which version you have. Uh, depending on your machine, Python might be under the Python or Python 3 name. Now, you can use the built-in 51 or the built-in Python version and installation on your machine, but at Box 51, we strongly recommend that you use a virtual environment, either VNV or a Conda environment, and this will help you to avoid dependency and version conflicts. So let's just walk through what this looks like. So here are some instructions to set up your virtual environment, either with VM or with Conda. Uh, with Conda, you do need to download and install Anaconda first. So we're going to walk through the VM example here. To do this, you change into or move into the directory that you would like to have this, this VM located uh, with the cd command. Then you create the new environment with Python or Python 3, uh, dash m, vnv, and then the name of your environment. And then you activate the environment with the dot n slash bin slash activate command. And once you've done that, then you can install 51 with the Python package installer, pip, which is either pip or pip3 on your machine. So pip install 51 or pip3 install 51. Now, if you want to use the standalone desktop app, then you just use a slightly different command. And if you want to verify that your installation was successful, then you can go into a Python interpreter or a notebook or whatever other Python process you would like and import 51, the module, and then print it out. And if you get a non-empty response that does not throw in an error, then you very likely have a successful uh, and working 51. Depending on your workflows, you may also want to install other things like notebooks, Jupyter, uh, other things. You might also want to install some machine learning frameworks, uh, whether that's Torch, Torch uh, Vision, TensorFlow, or something else. If you're working with videos, you probably want FMM, FFmpeg. And if you're working with point clouds or 3D data, you probably want Open3D. None of these things are necessary to get started in 51, but depending on your workflows, you might want them.